Hi everyone, it's Mr. Greg, and here's the recap for Bethesda's Sunday School from September 13th, 2020. This month, we're talking about the story of Moses, and this week, we've come to the story of the burning bush. One day, Moses was tending to his sheep in the Egyptian desert when he came across a bush that was on fire, but it wasn't getting burned up. It turned out that the bush was the presence of God. Moses was amazed at what he saw. God told Moses to go back to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and to tell him to let the Hebrew people go. God was angry at how Pharaoh had treated the Hebrew people. Moses was scared, but he trusted God and obeyed. Just like last week, when we talked about God using the ordinary to do things that were extraordinary— we see the same thing again this week. God uses an ordinary bush to show Moses how powerful he is. He also has Moses, an ordinary guy, do a powerful thing, telling Pharaoh to let his people go. It's important to remember that God asks you and me, ordinary people, to do extraordinary things all the time. We just need to trust God and listen in order to do the right thing. This week, our craft is making our own burning bush, and here's how it works. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Just like Moses raised his hand to volunteer for God's work, we're going to use our hands to make our own burning bush. You're going to need a white piece of paper, a brown piece of paper, a green piece of paper, orange, yellow, and red. If you don't have all of those, you can just use one white piece of paper and color in all the colors with crayons. So what you're going to do is trace your hand, use your scissors, and cut out the outline of the hand that you just traced. We're going to start with the brown piece of paper because it's going to be like the trunk of our bush and the branches coming off of our bush. So you go all the way around. And just like we talked about, our hands are very important because they let people know that we're ready to either ask a question or to volunteer for something. Just like Moses asked a question of God and volunteered to help God. So we're going to take our glue stick. Whoa, I'm almost out of glue. Let's hope this works. We're going to take our glue stick and we're going to glue our brown hand onto the white piece of paper. And we're going to do this with all the different color paper that we have. So take your green piece of paper, outline your hand, and cut it out just like you did with the brown piece of paper. I tell you what, we're going to fast forward. Now that we have all of our hands we're going to take our green, use our glue stick. I hope you guys have way more glue than I do because I am almost out. We're going to use our glue stick. We're going to glue the green onto the brown. That's going to be like the leaves of our bush. So our bush is starting to come together. Looks a little weird, but, you know, it's all right. Then we're going to glue the red. We're going to glue the orange. And we're going to glue the yellow onto our piece of paper, and that represents the fire of God. And as you can see, we have a really beautiful hands-on burning bush. Good job, you guys. Join us next week. We're going to be talking about Moses going before Pharaoh and telling him to let his people go. And what happens after that?